Hello traders, today we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys how to track any web website's data within crypto or outside of crypto of course too. You can use this tool that I'm about to show you to track exchanges, uh, to track data from CoinGlass, to track data from CoinGecko, you know, wherever you want to. I've covered this tool before, but I found it even more helpful uh, recently because I use a lot of different indicators and I want to look at a lot of different things and this tool allows me to do that. Uh, so yeah. Let me show you guys how to work Distill. So after you dis, uh, download Distill.io, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click, uh, you're gonna have it in your Chrome extension. You click monitor parts of page. So I wanna monitor the implied volatility of move contracts. And the reason I wanna do that is I wanna buy when implied volatility is very cheap or when a lot of people are selling the contract, which is gonna make implied volatility cheap for the move contract or when implied volatility is very high, you know, or if a lot of people are buying the move contract. Because what I've noticed on these move contracts is that they're very inefficient. There can be times where like the implied volatility is in the 30s on a weekday. Uh, not common, but it can happen. And that obviously is a really good opportunity to, to buy. So to do that, I'm gonna click implied volatility and I'm gonna click the value. You don't have to click both. But I just like it organized like that uh, instead of just having the value. So I'm gonna click save selection. I'm going to hit this to be every, let's say, two minutes. Just type in two minutes. So with this, uh, if you ever want, if you want to keep tracking a move contracts implied volatility every different day, you could just uh, change the URL to like that or something. Of course, I'm going to use any local device because that's what works for me. Don't want email alerts, but I do want pop-up notifications and audio notifications. So yep, this basically describes, uh, you know, the selector name of it doesn't really matter, device, yada yada. Now let's go into the conditions. So you want to have any ticked, you do not want to have all ticked, don't forget that. Now there's a lot of different conditions that, conditions that you can add, but what we're going to look for is if there's a number less than 40, so if there's an implied volatility value that is less than 40 or more than 100, okay? That's what we want to scan for. So. Without further ado, we are going to scan this. And again, if implied volatility is below 40, um, that could be for a myriad of reasons. If it's during a time where, and here it is, the implied volatility. If it's during a time where you expect Bitcoin to be very volatile, then it could be. What was happening is that a lot of people were selling the move contract, which you know could allow you to buy it for a very cheap price. So you can use this to track individual values to be very pinpoint. Or you can track entire web pages if you want to, you know, do something like, uh, hey, I want to track the entire web page of Bitcoin. Uh, this is actually very easy to do. You just click this. You just click um, this guy right here. Monitor full page. Let's say every two minutes. Yeah, whatever. All looks good. We click save. So the benefit of monitoring a full page is that you can use to still. Um, basically as a as a base and you can have a gajillion different websites all here on distill and then you can view everything all just on this website um, so you can see the entire page is right here you know if I want to uh, go to the side let me see yep I can go to the side like that so if we look here uh, I can see the you know funding rate all of the important values I need to know yada yada yeah so you can also uh, check for changes on entire you know, well, if you know, if you know the settings well, you can check for changes on the entire um, page as well. But really, what I like to do with this is to scan for very pinpoint values, such as the implied volatility. That's going to check every two minutes. It's going to allow me to potentially buy a really cheap contract or sell a really expensive contract. And what you can even do is get text message alerts, so that you know, if you really need to be alerted to anything in the world that happens on the internet you get an instant alert on your phone or, or by email. So yeah, I do use this daily to just track move, move contracts, look for inefficiency, to try to buy very cheap contracts and try to sell very expensive contracts and then hedge them, of course, too, to be safe. And yeah, you can also track full pages, like I had said, I feel like I've already talked about that, but you can use this to track just a bunch of different websites. Uh, you know, If you so desire, then have this kind of be your, your home base. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Um, basically, that was just a walkthrough of a very simple way to use Distill.io. Uh, it's a fun tool. You can think of a million different creative ways to use it. Um, but yeah, happy trading and uh, start tracking.